Anyways, I am having a cup of my Nespresso coffee and today is going to be a really fun day so I thought I would uh, bring you guys with me on today's adventure because I am trying on some wedding dresses at the bridal shop by Anthropology. I always forget the acronym and I actually don't remember what it stands for either so total fill on that one. I'm gonna go there today with my maid of uh, maid of honor Shinoa and we're just gonna try on some wedding dresses and see if I can find the one because I have already been to one one shop in Washington DC because I live fairly close to DC area. I live like a 20 minute drive and I went there and I did find some really really pretty ones but they were so unreasonably expensive so I'm not gonna say what shop it is because I don't think there's a point to that. I thought the anthropology line had some really comparable styles but they're like half the price. Currently it is 9.43 so I'm just gonna get ready, take a slow morning because my maid of honor is coming by 11 a.m. My hair is looking crazy. <laughs> it's like this every morning that I wake up. I feel like my hair gets greasy so easily and I wash it like almost every other day. I don't know what is happening. I cannot train it to make less oil like some people say. It's just impossible for me. Mm. For those of you who have the Nespresso, wow, that was really hot. I think I burned myself. For those of you guys who have the Nespresso machine, what is your favorite capsule? I don't think I have one yet. I just like all of them. <laughs> or I'll have like one or two of them that I don't really like as much because they're not as strong, but most of them are just so dang good. As I was saying, my hair. Probably gonna try to curl it and style it so it doesn't look as greasy and disheveled as I do right now. And put on some makeup. We are gonna have to wear our masks the whole appointment, which is 100% fine. I will comply, uh, comply. I will comply to those rules. I think the only time that I might take it off like for a split second is when I'm trying to see myself in the mirror with the dress on if I'm like loving it. Especially because if you have a mask on, it kind of like distorts the whole image or the visual. So it's hard to judge the dress when you're covering and hiding half of your face, literally. Uh, that's the only, I guess, circumstance where I'll take my mask off. That's when no one is around me, obviously. Today is actually a pretty nice day. It was raining for the past couple of days, so I was not happy with the mushy muddy, humid weather, but today is a good day. I'm gonna do all my skincare and then I'll be right back. Okay, I just came back from washing my face and I did the rest of my skincare, put on some sunscreen, and now I'm about to just do my makeup. Okay, I still got really good timing. Sorry if the lighting is a little bit skewed. I really wanna get a new lens, guys, by the way. So right now I'm using my Sony and i like it but it's just the lighting is i can't figure it out i think i figured out the lighting for my canon so much better than my sony but the problem with my canon is that it is a 30 oss lens 30 millimeter oss i don't know exactly what that means because i'm not a tech camera junkie or professional by any means <laughs> like far from it i'm so bad at the specs for cameras and the settings and everything the canon has 30 millimeters oss and the larger the number the narrower the angle so i need a wide angle lens in order to shoot freely and not be so constricted in like this really small box of frame if that makes any sense so i'm definitely gonna have to invest in that but those lenses are so expensive they're like 200 to like 600 dollars but it would be so nice to be able to shoot on my better camera which is the canon it's a newer better quality camera with better lighting and everything else but i just can't because of the lens that it comes with the kit lens is just way too small 
enough rambling on about my camera but this is the l'oreal infallible fresh wear foundation i am so excited to try this so so much because everyone's been raving on it on youtube and my friends have been raving on raving about it in person to me as well because i have some friends who have oily skin and i have like oily combo and they said that this wears really well the one thing that i already can tell that i'm not liking so far is the fragrance in this product i can definitely smell that like perfumey mall scent if that makes sense but other than that i haven't tried anything out but i think i got the color right yes because i ordered it online and i was so nervous about the color i wasn't sure if i matched myself correctly but i think i got it i got the 445 and it's like a light medium yellow undertone color it might be a little slightly light but Hopefully it'll just oxidize. Wow, it's a lot liquidier than I thought it was going to be. But I'm just gonna use a dense synthetic brush like I always do. I'm not gonna switch that up because I want to do a true test of this foundation. Wow, I think the color is actually really nice. My face is always, my face and neck and decollete area is actually always, always undoubtedly <laughs> lighter and paler than the rest of my body so weird i don't know why my body tans so well and quickly and my face and chest is like no we refuse to get color hopefully you guys can see yeah the color is actually really really good I'm impressed. Coverage is, I would say, like a solid medium. Oh, I do have a feeling that this is gonna stay on because I think it's a drier formula than most of my foundations. Wow, yeah, I'm actually really liking it. I hate foundation lips, oh my god. It's my biggest pet peeve on myself, not on other people. I hate looking at myself when there's like foundation or concealer all over my lips and I look like a zombie. It looks super natural and a very natural, I guess like a soft matte finish. It's like maybe satin. Really liking it. I really like how this looks and the color matches almost perfectly. Hopefully it doesn't oxidize because I will definitely get a little too dark if I if this changes colors because I think it is like the perfect shade right now. I am going to do the rest of my makeup because that is the only new thing that I have on hand right now. And then I will be right back. Alrighty guys, I'm in my bathroom so I apologize if there is an echo in the audio and everything. I mean, I feel like I'm always apologizing for the audio or the lighting, so what's new? But I'm just heating up my curling iron because I am going to curl my hair today. It's honestly gonna fall out in like 10 minutes of being outside because God knows how humid it is. As I said earlier in this video, my hair just gets greasy so easily. Oh my gosh, like look at all the grease so i'm actually going to put a load of batiste which is one of my favorite affordable dry shampoos if i have really really greasy hair like this needs some work like today it's like bad but it's not like that bad <laughs> if it's one of those days that where this doesn't do the trick then i use the dry bar Detox dry shampoo. This will, oh my gosh, literally transforms my hair. So that's my old, like my all time favorite dry shampoo when I have really, really greasy hair. But this one will do for today. I do the middle parting. Guys, like I'm telling you, I put a generous amount. I just put it like in the crown area and the back. Once I style it, it's gonna look a hundred times better. Also, I am wearing a uh, jumpsuit. I thought this would be pretty appropriate because it's like a white jumpsuit. I love this, it's super pretty. I got it from Luca and Gray. I actually did a haul. If you guys wanna check it out, I'll link it right here. Like I was saying, I am so, so excited about this Anthropology bridal line because 
all the dresses I saw, they were so gorgeous. I mean, I found some that I was like, oh my gosh, I am dying to try these out. Hopefully, I'll find something. I'm gonna just do like loose curls today. Like, I can be sloppy because it's probably just gonna fall out anyway. I'm gonna do like bigger chunks. This bridal shop is also in DC, so just going to take like an uber there or something because i hate driving into the city you guys oh my god it is literally a nightmare finding parking is also a struggle i was a little hesitant about taking an uber like in the middle of the pandemic because you never know who was sitting in those seats i guess i'm just gonna be careful not to touch anything and keep sanitizing my hands I know some people are still going to the salon and everything right now, but I'm just not... I don't feel I want to do that because I'm just a germaphobe in general. I'm gonna let this part cool off a little bit more, but I can take the clip out now. Oof. It is so hot in this bathroom right now. Am I the only person who has this problem where I feel like one half of the head is curlier than the other side. It really depends on which side I start off with, but I always feel like I start with the left and these curls are looser than the ones on the right. I don't know. Maybe I'm just imagining it, but it's really weird. But I'm gonna go ahead and run my fingers through this. Oh, also my straps are showing, which is kind of annoying but I realized that I don't have a strapless bra and I really don't want to use like sticky boobs and then have to like change in and out of the dress with my like boobs hanging out. I mean, <laughs> it's fine. Like I don't mind, but I'd rather just have like a full on bra on. I don't have any strapless bras. So this is gonna have to do today and then I'm just gonna hide the straps whenever I try on the dress. Yeah, this is what my hair looks like. I mean, I just love these like mermaid curls, these like loose waves. Yeah, as you can see, like, I don't know, can you guys see? <laughs> this lighting is so terrible. Um, you guys have a really nice view of my background, which is my bathroom. This Batiste thing is amazing, but this doesn't last more than a day. So if I want to be able to go like a third day, Without washing my hair, I'm definitely gonna have to use the dry bar one because that one works so much better for me and it absorbs like everything and it's intense. I mean, it's a little heavy in the hair, not gonna lie. Like it definitely does leave a residue. So when I use that, I have to wash my hair the day after. But the Batiste one, it kind of like dissipates almost. So it doesn't leave like a film or anything or texture. So I can go another day with that in my hair but the dry one, dry bar one, it's it's like heavy duty. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna see what Shanoa is gonna say. She says she's on her way. Wow, yeah, I love how my hair turned out today, but it's not gonna look like this by the end of the day today because I mean, the humidity will destroy any type of styling. On my lips, I have the Fenty Beauty lipstick on, the Matte Moselle lipstick. This is in Freckle Fiesta, one of my favorite colors. I love these like orangey pinks. It's like a coral, like a burnt orange. Yeah, not coral. It's not coral. At the store, I will ask the associate there if I'm allowed to film. If I am, I'll do like little snippets. I'm not going to film like the whole entire appointment because it's like an hour long and I don't want to make anyone feel uncomfortable or anything like that. So I'll just do like little clips here and there so you guys can kind of get a feel for how the appointment is going and I would love to like share that experience with you especially because that is the only exciting thing that's happening in my life. <laughs> I also have this really cute uh, Ana Luisa necklace on. This is what I am actually going to wear on my wedding day. So I'm wearing it to kind of go with the dress and feel it out. Yeah, oh my gosh, it's happening. All right, well, I will see you guys in a little bit. Wait, if you guys have never tried this yogurt, it is so good. It's called So Delicious. 
Dairy-free coconut milk yogurt alternative. Oh my gosh, it's the key lime flavor and I absolutely love this one. And I put like three full tablespoons of hemp hearts or hemp seeds. And I like the raw shelled one. It gives it a really great texture to the yogurt. I add it in here and then just like mix it up and eat it. It's my favorite breakfast pretty much. That's all I'm gonna eat today before I go to the wedding dress shop because I'm running out of time and I only have like 10 minutes. So I'm gonna scarf this down, but just wanted to show you guys what I'm eating. I got this one from Amazon, but I know they also sell it on Thrive Market and it probably tastes a little bit better because this is slightly on the bitter side, but it's still really good. I'm, I don't really mind the bitterness. I mean, especially with the like sweeter yogurt. While I'm waiting for Chanel to get here, just wanted to show you guys, this is what it looks like. The yogurt with the hemp seeds. Oh, it looks so good. I'm obsessed with this stuff. It literally tastes like key lime pie. <laughs> it's like sweet, but it has a really good chewy, crunchy texture. Not crunchy, but more chewy. And it's healthy and dairy free. So. Mm. It's such a simple way to get some food in your stomach. <laughs> Especially if you're like running late, like I am. Oh, here. Hmm? Oh, no, that's okay. Just wanna. <laughs> so we're here with their masks on at Anthropology. So apparently, their bridal shop is upstairs. Wow, the lighting is terrible. It is. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna head on in because it's really hot. So, yeah, see you guys in there. Ah, oh, the store is so pretty. I honestly have forgotten what it feels like to be in a retail store. I mean, a retail store, I know. <laughs> I can buy everything. Same. Can I buy everything? Same. <laughs> <laughs> All right, going in. Hi. That's what's nice about coming the second time is you kind of now know a little yeah. bit more of what you. Usually the first one I recommend at least one of every silhouette, even though you know you're not yeah. going to be a poofy ball gown or like a princess dress or lace or beads or anything. It's like, mm, you never know. Again. <laughs> so. I've heard that many times when brides were like, I had no idea this is what I would wind up with. Yes, most of the time it is a surprise gown. Yeah. So we actually met at work um, years ago, probably like four years ago. Okay. So we worked together and then we immediately, we're like, we're twins almost. <laughs> we're like the same person. So we just immediately clicked. I'm gonna need a lot of clips for this oh. one. <laughs> I feel like I'm like oh. hauling her. I'm like, oh, is it heavy? <laughs> There's so much tool. Oh, wow. like, yeah. No, I love it. This one's really pretty. Wow, I'm gonna have a hard time choosing because I like all of them. <laughs> oh no. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I'm not gonna move until I can get my feet Into out. Yeah. <laughs> Do you like it? I do. I, I love the sleepy tail. I love it. This one has the best photos to like, like do a, like a yeah. push the material. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. There's so, so much of there's it. Movement yeah. There's movement. Yeah. yeah. I love this Where one. Where the other one's just like very sleek. This one's like. I know. It's so different. Ethereal. Yeah. Like the vibe of both of them are so different. So different. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I really like this one too. And this one also looks really good with like a lacier belt or mm -hmm. like a hair piece that matches the bodice. This one's nice because it kind of like oh, accentuates like your this area. This area. <laughs> it feels like it'll stay on like even if I move around and stuff. And you can trim the sleeves. You can make them shorter. Mm -hmm. Does it feel comfortable with your hands up? Not like all the way up. Okay. Like this is probably the furthest I will do it comfortably. Yeah. But it's fine. It's not like I'm gonna be like. Yeah. <laughs> Get wild. Yeah, exactly. I love it. This is definitely more uh, yeah. extravagant than the other one. I'm trying so hard to like yeah. be graceful. 
I love this one. I love it too. But I like the other one too. Oh, girl. You have a video then. I'm the most like disgraceful. <gasps> I think all of them are really pretty. It's probably because I picked the ones that are my style now. This this, this round? This, yeah, you, I think you learned a little bit more about like, what I like. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oi. 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 This has that really paisley detail. Will this be like a little bit? You can get that um, altered to be oh, more gosh. fitted, yes. Okay. I like it. Okay. Uh, what do you think compared to the other ones? Um, I like the other two better. Same. But this is pretty. I like the other two better. I think the other two like was more like a wow back then. Mhm. Mm yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I like this one too. Oh my goodness. Wow, I'm gonna have such a hard time choosing, but this is the one that you this really is the like. One I, can't <laughs> I love it. I might need one clip though. Do you want to okay. Yeah, this one is, is that so tight pretty. Oh, what? Is that tight enough in the back? Yeah, I think so. Oh my goodness, girl. Oh, so pretty. And the back. Wow. The wow. back is so pretty. It's like, oh, the sleeve is down. I know. And this one's like nice because like, it won't fall off. Like yeah. obviously because it's like an illusion. Yeah. And you can get that trimmed a little bit, but it is meant to like help the everything stay in place. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I love this. Wow. It's so pretty. Wow. The different layers. Wow. And I like that it's not just one solid color. It's like a, like the ivory yeah. inside. No, it's like a, it's like a really beautiful nudie, like, mm -hmm. but. I know it's so good. It's so pretty. We were saying too, it's nice that you're videoing, because you can actually see it moving. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do all the poses. So I know. Can't see the it. weird poses with me going like that. <laughs> So it made it was an illusion of making your waist look smaller. So that's what this one kind of does. Oh, this one's really pretty. Wow. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine me at my own wedding? Like, Girl, I've seen, it, I've seen it before. It was like so funny. Walking down the aisle. Like yeah. <laughs> I know. I know. Oh, girl. Oh, my God. <laughs> they all are so stunning. I can't. This one's very different. Like, I don't know exactly how I feel about it, so I wanted your opinion. But, okay. Okay. I don't think you need to clip it at all. I don't think so either. It is slightly, like, obviously big, but, yeah. It's it's fine. Okay. But. I love the back. Oh, yeah. The back is really pretty. I mean, I thought, I think it's stunning, obviously. What was your first feeling when you went out? I was like... Okay, so you like the first classic one Oh better. yeah, okay. oh yeah, for sure. But I still wanted to show you, because it's like very different because yeah. of the halter. Look at that like slick look. <laughs> <laughs> this one is so comfortable though. I'm it like, looks like you could just like do acrobats right now. Yeah. I hope this was recording before, but it's fine. I'm pretty sure it was. I think this is the one that it I think it got your top three at least. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Probably didn't, but maybe. The halter one, I don't really care yeah. if it didn't get it. So yeah. this one, I would say it would, it would be a little bit higher, um, mm -hmm. but again, it just depends on working with the tailor how tight you would want the top to fit. God, I'm obsessed. <gasps> I love this one too. Let me see. Oh, this is I know, this is so pretty. It looks oh. like Perfect. Wow, this is good. Oh, I love go, it. The buttons go all the way down the train. Which is amazing. Oh, I love it. Okay, so definitely. Oh my god. Definitely, I love this one too. I don't know. Okay, so love the fit. I think the fit is insane. And I just love the pop of detail. Yeah. Like, what more could you ask? I know. Oh my goodness. Alrighty, you guys. Uh, that was so exciting. I finally found my dress. I was actually so stuck between two different styles and 
I literally took an hour debating which one I wanted to choose for the wedding and I'm just so glad that I came to a decision that I'm really really happy with and satisfied with Before Shanoa left, we actually did a little bit of planning and trying to prioritize certain things that I need to do like ASAP because I realized that I need to find my momentum again in booking some like priority people I'm just so glad to be back home and I'm just so exhausted <laughs> Trying on dresses is just so so emotionally draining in a way because you're constantly kind of like going through the motions and taking dresses on and off and it's just a lot of work still and emotionally it's like very chaotic <laughs> I'm just glad that I found the dress and it's actually getting shipped to me I think uh, at the end of August so it's in quite a few weeks so I won't have it with me and I won't be able to get it altered until I receive it so by the way, during the try-on sessions, I'm actually going to edit out the actual dress I picked out for the wedding day because obviously I don't want Charlie to like accidentally see the dress or anything and I want it to be kind of a secret still until the wedding day. So I'm just going to cut that portion out and just keep everything else in. So you guys will still see most of the dresses that I'm trying on. The representative was super nice and she was so, so patient with me because I was so indecisive and I was taking so long to decide on a dress that I really loved and wanted to wear on my wedding day. So huge kudos to her for sticking it out and being a good sport. I am really grateful that I had a representative that was just super nice and helpful and having Shanoa there was the best decision because she was able to guide me through the whole process and everything Hello! Yes, I'm just vlogging um, I'm just saying that I found the dress and made the big purchase <laughs> The um, interest <laughs> <laughs> um, the interesting thing was that the first bridal shop that I went to I told you guys their dresses were so expensive I could have bought two dresses and was still under budget with the money that I would have spent at the first bridal shop which was just nuts because I liked the dresses at the Anthropology Beholden, I think that's what it's called, Beholden? Bridal shop way more. I mean, I fell in love with so many of the dresses that they had. It was so beautiful and I liked the staff and everything about it was just really, really up to expectations. So I'm um, super excited to, you know, get it hemmed and altered to my perfect fitting. But I just wanted to point that out that my actual wedding day dress is not going to be in the footage of me trying on so nothing can, can get spilled, you know? Another really exciting news. <laughs> Charlie got a wonderful message from our wedding ring shop store. And they finally said my engagement ring is ready. I'm gonna be able to see it today. I'm so, so excited. And if you guys don't know already, Charlie actually proposed with the wedding band. I really actually like that because the engagement ring, I kind of know the gist of what it's going to look like because we kind of went engagement ring shopping together. What I'm trying to say is that when he proposed with the wedding band, it was much more of a surprise because I didn't know anything about the wedding band. I didn't know what it was going to look like. I mean, he didn't get any input from me, so I absolutely had no clue what this ring was going to look like. So it was much more of a surprise than it would have been if he engaged, if he proposed with the engagement ring. But I'm so excited to see the engagement ring. It's going to be so pretty. I cannot wait. The engagement ring we picked out together, so I already know an idea of what it's going to look like. 
also, just to preface all of this, <laughs> he proposed with the wedding band, not because that's like a tradition or anything. He actually did that because our engagement ring was stuck at the factory because of quarantine and COVID situation. So it was unfortunate, but they finally finished it and Charlie just wanted to propose with the wedding band, which is absolutely fine. I, it was, it was quite a surprise. So I'm really happy with how things turned out and I'm so, so excited. I cannot contain my excitement, but yeah, I will check in later tonight and hopefully I'll be able to show you guys the ring. <laughs> But I can't get out of bed There's too much in my head 